What could be a better month than February to schedule some quality time with your love? We're happy to welcome back our travel expert, Janine Tornator. Good to see you. Great to be here. All right, we're going to start with Horse Country USA. Tell us more about this. So I love this pick of Kentucky as a romantic getaway. I think it's one of those regions that is having a moment right now because of the bourbon trails and that being so popular, but it can be a really fun, quick, long weekend escape. Um, so my choice here is really a combination of Louisville and Lexington, mm. Kentucky. They're both just an hour and a half drive apart. And this whole region around here is what's fantastic. Louisville being the bigger city, easier to fly into, a lot more hotel options there, but all around here, like you said, beautiful horse country where you can take tours of these horse farms. You have the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, which is a fun way to spend a day. Um, there is the Keeneland Race Course, so you can go watch some horse racing, historic homes, fun shopping. So a lot of fun things to do. And just driving around this area of the country is absolutely stunning. So my hotel pick for you here is actually in Louisville. It's called Hotel Distill. It's in a historic building in Whis uh, Louisville's Whiskey Row. And I love this hotel because it has fun amenities that really play into this region. In your room, you can get an in-room bourbon cart that is curated by one of their bourbon ambassadors on staff. They also have Repeal, which is their uh, wood-fired steakhouse, which is fantastic. Um, and they also have Valentine's Day packages, which is something I always look for this time of year when you want one of those romantic escapes. I love that. Not to say that a little bit of bourbon to warm the insides and grease the wheels doesn't hurt. <laughs> Let's move on yeah. to some warmer weather. Amelia Island, Florida. Yes, Amelia Island is a, just an easy drive from Charleston. You're talking three and a half to four hours, so right down the coast. Now, I love this one because it is just one of those relaxed weekend getaways where you can take in a little wellness and some great amenities there as well. Um, they have beautiful landscapes, lots of fun tours that you can take of the island, great spas, fine dining. And my pick here to stay is a luxury pick, the Ritz-Carlton Amelia Island. Oh. But when you're not having to buy those plane tickets, you can kind of trade up for a little more luxury in your hotel when you're just doing that quick drive down. And what I love about the Ritz-Carlton is some of its amenities as well. They have a AAA five diamond restaurant called Salt. If you're going to go the uh, massage route, they have their signature uh, heaven in a hammock massage. So that's definitely worth trying out. They also have daily infused bourbon recipes, their lobby bar, and they have an on-staffed naturalist who can take you on eco tours of the island. So fun things that you can do there together with your significant other. Sounds great. Now, if wine is a little bit more your speed, Paso Robles in California, a great spot, very natural, rolling hills, really pretty out there. Yes, now this might be if you have a little bit more time than just the weekend. It's about halfway between Los Angeles and the Bay Area. So it's about three hours outside of Los Angeles. But if you're going to be going to LA, this makes for a really nice side trip. And I love this wine region because you really get all of the beauty of the coast. It's right off of the coast. And you have just beautiful rolling hill wine country. There's a lot of interesting things to do here. You can um, take horse trail rides. There's hot springs. Of course, there's things like outdoor concerts. They also have a really popular attraction called the Field of Light at Sensorio. It's an 18 acre art installation that you walk around at night where they have all these lights lit up. It's really, really beautiful and fantastic. But I love Paso Robles because it's really affordable. It's completely unpretentious. It's not crowded. It feels like one of those places that's still a little up and coming but has fantastic things to do. And they have a, a lot of great affordable hotels. A newer one is the Courtyard Paso Robles, a brand we all know but it's actually really beautiful with a lot of great outdoor areas to enjoy the stunning weather there. I think that sounds great. Well, people get your list out, pick a spot and head out. We've got the rest of February to plan this. So I want to thank you so much, Janine, for joining us today. Always my pleasure. We're back in two minutes.